<laughs> Good morning, y'all. I'm laughing at Mo. It's Sunday morning. We got a lot to put into this video. But the clip that you just saw was yesterday evening. I wanted to start my tomatoes. And let's see, I think I have a jalapeno. We're going to go through the list. And we have a bell pepper that I added to the 72 cell tray. We started them yesterday, which is February the 4th. And it's sitting over here. And I'm going to walk you through the clips. And then this is what we planted yesterday. Um, I couldn't do a voiceover. Um, we have a little corn with us this weekend. <laughs> it wasn't working. So, what you saw me do at the start of the video is all I did was put my seed start in. You saw me pack it down. Then I wet it. Then you saw me go back and top it off tight. Then I wet it again, poked my holes with my chopstick, and then I seed started, okay? That's all I did, and I felt like just running it through, letting y'all see the step. Y'all didn't meet, need me popping my gums, but this is what we started, okay? Oh, and real quick, I believe the clip at the end is this morning when I was wetting everything down with my one-gallon pump-up sprayer. Guys, them things work amazing. Just saying, if you've got you, or even a half a gallon, Pump up sprayer, make sure it's non-chlorinated water. So if it's city water, just boil it the day before, let it come down to room temperature. The chlorine will evaporate and you're good to go. Um, so you did see that. Now, this is what we started. Not a pino, which is a non-heat jalapeno. These are seeds that I saved from last year. And I'm also gonna be showing you how I save other seeds. We did the uh, botanical Ace 55 tomato, which is a good canning tomato. Hoss tool, which is a celebration. That's a determinant. The Ace 55 is a determinant, and you're going to see a pattern here. We have the Hoss tool Florida 91 determinant. The MI Gardener, this is a red cherry. Now, that's an indeterminate. But I've had these a year now, and I'm finally able to grow them and try them out. Hoss Tool Summer Pick Tomato. Again, determinate. The Hoss Tool Chef Orange. Now, y'all know that's my favorite, but it's an indeterminate. And last year, what did we reach? Seven feet? Eight feet? It goes everywhere, but guys, it will produce up until your next frost. We have uh, from Miss Jan at Not A Real Farm. She gifted me some bush beef steaks. Determine it. It'd be my first time growing these. Uh, we have Hoss Tool, Hossinator tomato. And that's a determinant. But there's a story behind that that's going to come in just a few weeks. Mm-hmm. I made sure I, I seed started six of those. And then we have the Hoss Tool, Hossinator bell pepper. And that's what I planted yesterday. Now, we are planting more tomatoes, but those tomatoes are going to be separated from these because all of those tomatoes are gifts from a lot of you guys. Um, some of them are going to be done in pots. That way, I can designate who sent what and the type of tomato that it is. So, I've got to get all of those lined out and pick the ones that I want. I won't be able to do all of them, but I'll pick quite a few. And then that way, we can see how they do here in my climate. But I'm going to clean my mess up. That's where we're at this morning, going through what, what we started. Now, we've got to move outside. We're going to the garden. I'm going to show you all an update on the, the onions, the garlic, my new addition to the to the garden and show you what all I've got done there. Then we're coming back in and we're gonna do some seed saving. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you how to get a lot more bang from your buck because we're gonna do a comparison because I actually have a package of bell peppers, seeds, which is the hossinator, 
bell pepper. That did run $3.99, so that's $4. I did this on purpose, plus shipping. We're taking two green organic bell peppers that I just bought two days ago, and we're gonna seed save those, and I'll show you how I do that. That was $2.79. I bet you we yield 150 seeds at least. I'm hoping we won't know till we open them up. But the amount of seeds that I got for $4 plus shipping, because I wanted to test it, uh, there may be 12 to 15 seeds. And we're gonna do a comparison of how they grow because I'm putting those in a bucket and I'm also putting our seed saving seeds, well, that's tongue twister, in a bucket. And we're gonna see how they do in comparison. So this is a year that we grow together. Told you I would not let you miss a step, but this is a year that we also see how we can grow on a budget and thinking outside the box. Mm -hmm. So I'll meet you outside. Hope y'all can hear for the noise, but look at this. My four by six garden shed, it's a, over a year old. And Buddy and Grandpa was able to put it together. I've got a good base. And I'm sure y'all can see a few dings in the metal. But guys, this was free. I'm bringing you around to this side because he's putting a, um, a gutter and he's already got my tubs well, they're actually plastic, heavy-duty trash cans for my water reservoir. And there'll be two of those there with a gutter off of this side. But we're fixing to go in. And here's the inside of my garden shed. Now, these are the shelves that I've had probably 10 years. We couldn't get them all in, but in the center... I'm probably gonna have three lightweight shelves to house all of my seed trays. Cause we have one here and we're using four inside. Now I did take the lid off, but this is my tote. Now when I need to access my Paralyte or anything that you see behind there, this tote weighs nothing. I can slide it out but this is what houses all of my seed cups. From store-bought to some I purchased probably 15 years ago. Here's some more seed start trays. I just wash them, stack them. Here is another stack. Down here is a lot more of these four inch cells. But as you can see, it houses quite a bit. And I don't remember when I got those. I think it was right after Buddy and I married at a garage sale. And I've never used them, but I'm holding on to them. And below those are more cells. These are the four inch. Those are the two inch. I just take rubbing alcohol and wipe off what I wrote the previous year and I reuse them. So I'm not sure you can see with the sun coming in. But everything that Lippy uses for the yard, garden, you name it, is in this shed. And I'm going slow. And this is the bag that we ordered, I believe, in September. I said 50, but he said it's 25 pounds. But I've had these small bags. I think there's five of them. And then I also like the fruit and tree fertilizer from Dr. Earth. And yes, I do use seven dust. These canisters are about 10 years old. So as you can see, I don't use them much, but I'm not all organic guys.
Then I have an extra spray pump bottle that after I use it, I put it back in its box. So there's Miss Lippy's shed. Our low quads made it, y'all. And our little hot box. So now we have brought them out. Oh, I see a little bee. And what I haven't showed y'all that I've been babying is elderberries. These are cuttings from our neighbors um, that we do a lot of bartering and swapping with. And so I babied these over the winter. Now we have to find them a home soon. But every loquat made it. Remember our nice carrot bed that didn't make it? Well, look what Mo found this morning. There's a few wanting to pop up. Here's our elephant garlic that Miss Allison blessed us with, and it did fine. My onion tops from Deep South, they made it too. And here is our Texas sweets. All four beds. But I come out in the mornings, and I'll find one or two, and I left this one on purpose. See, it just lays over, so I just try to put it back lightly. And it's actually too deep now, but I'll show you how they're looking. The onions are doing very well, so I'm pleased. You know, they were pretty rough, like this one. And it was just really a nub. But if I go any, if I bring it up anymore, it falls over. So we're just going to leave it be, let it get a top on it some, and then go from there. But they survived better than what I expected. Hello, Lou. I want y'all to know this vitamin D feels good. Now I do have a long sleeve cotton shirt that I've got kind of scrunched up. It's warm. We're supposed to be 70 and then 72, I believe, tomorrow, and it feels great. We're able to burn some of our uh, paper in boxes. Chickens are having a ball. Uh, do y'all remember the pink swimming pool we had as their sandbathing box? Well, I stole it. I'm going to clean it out, and I'm going to put it here in the garden. I'm not quite sure. I got some thoughts of what I'm going to put in it, but I'm going to repurpose it. You know, right now, grab anything you can, repurpose it, grow something. That is the name of the game for 2023. And we're gonna be positive. We're gonna have an abundance of harvest. But there's a lot happening in this, in this garden. And I'll show you the map. He's been out there pulling the wood for him and grandpa to build because our dirt First load comes next Thursday because it was too wet yesterday. So I'm going to show you, I believe there's 13, 13 more boxes. Don't quote me. I think he said 13 more. He's got enough material for 13 more. Four foot, I think they're three by four, uh, raised bed boxes. Now these are not on the ground. We do have ground cover underneath these boxes. And most of them have a bottom. Okay, we're on the side of my little shed that's got the small gutter and two trash cans. That's gonna be my water system. And this bed here that we called the potato bed last year, we're not gonna run boxes here. We're actually gonna come from the center and we're gonna go all the way down like an L. Follow my finger. And then we're coming up to the end of this black tarp because that's where all my large planters and buckets and salt lick buckets are. And so we're gonna make like an L. So then imagine I'm standing at the L. I will have my bench and table. There's the loquat tree, has no leaves, but it's still green. We, we checked it, so I think it's gonna do fine. That's gonna be the shade that I'm gonna depend on. And then through this L, remember there's gonna be an L. This is where I'm gonna put all my buckets that I will grow in. And then I'll have a nice shaded area. 
but everything will be contained in this 50 by 50 raised bed garden. And before we step out, remember the strawberry plants that I got from the Broussards? Guys, we did everything to save them and it worked. We lost one that was here and we lost this one. The other one deteriorated. I'm going to leave this just in hopes. But guys, every one of them made it. No eggs. Watch your finger. Oh, there's a chicken laying? Yep. All right, what's happening inside our chicken coop? Uh, go He's going to go look at the door. We've managed to stay dry. We did, before all of that cold came in, we did opt to get these uh, pallets that we had. And we've got the scratch and the feed, the oyster shells, uh, the electrolytes, all of that in that container. But they stay dry. And they are doing amazing. Now this has to be filled. I do this every day. And this is what the apple cider vinegar goes in. This is just their 10 gallon waterer. And he has insulation. And if it was to get freezing temps, he plugs it in because there's a heater coal or something underneath there that keeps the water from freezing good egg one good egg yeah just one how many did we get though this morning um uh, probably like five or six or something uh we got nine this morning seven yesterday so that makes 10 eggs can so you, you bring gotta, this to the porch you sure can sir you need to get back to work it's sweating out here, but yeah. It's sweating out here? Yeah, but I do need to go. He says, but he does need to go. <laughs> okay, we're back in the kitchen. It's hot, gotta get some water. Y'all, I was about to choke. It is getting warm and I'm loving it. But I gotta get some gumbo going. I'm supposed to be feeding 16 people tomorrow at Buddy's job. But the other night on the live, I talked to y'all about the organic bell peppers. It was 30 cents difference from two regular to two organic. Now, I'm going to take the seeds out of this. So I'm just going to take it and show you. I've got my glass bowl. I'm going to drop the camera because there's a few steps that I take to drying my seeds and checking them. And like I said, I've got the Hassanator bells, and I've got these. One's going in a five gallon, the other one's going in a five gallon together, and we're gonna see how they do. So you see, I'm being very careful not to disturb the seeds. Now, I'm not saying these are gonna be better, but there's a hundred seeds there I'm not filming. So I'm gonna lightly just rub my hands on them. Oop, don't wanna miss one. Now I'm not gonna count every one of these seeds when we get done, but right now we have saved um, 80, eighty, $1.80, two shipping. So we've saved, what is that? Three, four bucks already. and 90 times the amount of seeds. Quite a bit of seeds in this one. Now I'm gonna get the other one going, get this chopped, and I'll be back. Hey, all I'm doing is running some cold water in this bowl. And I'm gonna move these seeds around. I do mine a little bit different from others, but it seems to work. And then I'm literally gonna let these sit about five minutes. It's been five minutes, y'all. And the reason why I, I soak them is because it'll help separate them. Instead of just going right to a strainer, which is what we're about to do, 
If I let these sit for five minutes in this little bit of cold water, they will separate and they will stay separated in here because all the membranes and pieces that's around it has separated from them. Okay, we're gonna get them all in the strainer. Make sure we don't miss a seed. And I'm just gonna give them a good wash. Here's a piece of the bell pepper. And literally every seed is separated by letting that, let that water sit on them for five minutes. Okay. Just got a piece of paper towel. Trying to get as much moisture off as I can. Oh, don't want them to get that. There we go. And you'll see, you see that? They're not gummy. And they just fall right off. Okay, all I'm doing is lightly mashing the top of where they're built up together. And if you can hear it, they sound dry. They're not. But that was that five minute soaking method. Now I gotta get some gumbo making, but first I gotta go see what the guys are doing, see if they want a snack. But yeah, uh, older gentleman, we were living, that was the first house Buddy and I bought in 2004, uh, three, somewhere around there. Uh, and there was an older gentleman, a gardener, he lived around the corner. Now he was uh, from up north, um, he was, into tomatoes. He was big into suckering too, and he would replant those. Lovely couple. Anyway, he was saving seeds, and he had put them in like a Tupperware bowl. And he just put some water on it. He walked away and sat down and was visiting with us, and I asked him what he was doing. He said, if you just let them seeds soak for five minutes before you start rinsing, you can literally put your finger on there while they're still damp, and they'll separate. And I'll be doggone. I went home, a few days later I tried it. So 2003, 2004, that's 20, 20 years. And that's how I've done it. So, all right, I hope you like the garden update, literally a garden update. Um, don't know what I'm gonna bring next week. A lot of work to be done this week in the shed. Today is a gumbo day, but Miss Paula, I know you're following me, so February 4th, which was yesterday, you could have started your first round of tomatoes. And you know what? I forgot to show y'all what has germinated. I know that y'all saw it. I wrote it down. So on our next garden update, I'll go through it. Uh, the, the dahlias has come up. I know that the, the basil has come up. The cayenne peppers have come up. Mm, the thyme has come up. Off the top of my head, that's what has germinated and come up. Um, the dahlias are going stupid, so I opted to keep the lid on, but they're kind of wanting to touch, so I'm probably going to take those six out, and I'll just start something else because the other ones are slow rolling. So I don't know what, but I'll start something in those six cells because we don't want to waste space. But I'll probably go ahead and move them to a different pot. But I hope you enjoyed the art garden update and Mo with his chickens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he checks eggs about every hour. But I don't have to do it. <laughs> so until next time, stay safe and stay well. And as always, God bless. See you on the next one.